<laughs> you need someone to tell you what to do and you've not got anyone to tell you what to do. That's, that's the problem, I think. Because you don't, yeah, that's it. Pink limo hire London. I would never drink cow's milk. Like, I would never put milk in my like coffee, but, but, I, have like, but I have cheese every day, right. yeah. I'll still mm. have mozzarella, which is buffalo milk. <laughs> It's about half past seven. It's a beautiful day today. And I'm walking to the gym. Me and Tins both stayed with our boyfriends last night, so we're walking separately. Usually we walk together, but this morning I'm meeting her there. So hopefully she doesn't miss it and we can do a morning workout together. I'm listening to uh, this week's episode of The Girls' Bathroom. That's always my Monday job Monday morning it's like a 25 minute walk before and after the class so I always try and listen to the podcast episode for that week just to like sign it off and say yeah that's all good and uh, so yeah that's what I'm listening to we're here oh hello looks a bit uh, jumpy jumpy that's a sneak peek I would give you a quick pan of the uh, class, but it's pretty busy. Yeah, so I saw her today as well, yeah. And I smiled at her, but she didn't smile back, so I'm not sure if she clocked that it was me. Because I guess we had makeup on and stuff. Yeah, I saw her walking by the Sainsbury's. Yeah, she saw her walking. Don't know that one is. No, I haven't seen her before either. She's new, yeah. There's also a man in this class that looks a bit like Jake Gyllenhaal. I'm not sure what his name is. Oh, shit. <laughs> Goodbye, wish us luck. Oh, that was sweaty. I'm so sweaty. But a man stood on my hand. Are you getting a juice? No, I'm going to have porridge like Sophia. Yeah, a man stood on my hand, right? It was soft. <laughs> it really threw me off. Bad start like, to the session. I was like, literally, I haven't had my hand stood on, like, I know. ever. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. It's just one of those things. I was like, whoa. But good start to the week. Incredible start. It's always nice to do a workout on a Monday. God, I look very dishevelled. Horrendous. But we're going to get ready. I have a scrunching. It wasn't sufficient in keeping my hair out my face. It's because it's too silky. Yeah. And I just had my pony just... Should we go straight? Yeah. Fuck it. Mix up the walk home. in the face. <laughs> oh, God. Home time. We're back. We're back. And it's breakfast time. Put the iPad on charge so that we go into meetings. Prepared. And Professional prepared. and prepared. Oh, shit. Just oh, my God. And we've both really got into porridge. It's not really a summer breakfast. It's not a summer breakfast well, at all. Well, in, in my defence, this is my first time experiencing it. This is really good. I used to have this at my Nottingham flat. This was in this cupboard it? for like months. And then when you were away last week, I was like, I'm going to open this because I really fancy you know it. Where I it's, got, it's got like chocolate in it. You know where I got this for the first time? Where? TK Maxx. Really? Yeah. But now I think it's in Waitrose and stuff. So We've only got these bowls. In it, there's oats. Oh, you see, we're just not prepared over here. Oats, dates, <laughs> coconut cream, chocolate pieces, cocoa butter, cocoa powder, cheese seeds, flax seeds, and Himalayan salt. Wow. Oh. Uh, yeah, let me just tastes like chocolate with. porridge, basically. So good. Mmm. Yeah, I got this at TK Maxx. On those, on the checkout bits, on those little food things. Yeah, yeah. you know, where you go to the food items. I this, do, like, yeah. weird, cool food. Yeah. But I feel like you can get it from... Um, always nice to make with barista milk too. Always. Barista Makes it a bit creamier. Bar barista, I made mum. Mum still drinks skimmed milk. Oh. No offence to, to cow milk consumers. To be fair, I think my mum does too. The it's green a mum one. thing. The green one. She has the red. It's like water. It's disgusting. <laughs> the red milk. If you're from... Does, do they have this in America? And I don't know. I don't know. But the, the red... Milk. As a child, we would have the, the green The right? green milk, yeah. Which is like skimmed and then is red Me semi skimmed. Uh, is that correct? Yeah, it is. Right? Or is red skimmed and then semi. Yeah. And then green, green is, is semi skimmed. And what's blue? Blue is full fat. 
Blue no. is milk. Is it? Isn't blue really thick? And like full milk? Isn't there purple as well? I've seen a purple and a yellow. Problem with this is there's no portion control. Yeah, you've got to so eyeball you just it. Pour... And it's where else I going this? So yeah, mum still drinks red milk. Um, but I made her porridge with barista oat. Did she, she like, like wow, it? Wow, it's so creamy. I was like, yes, mm. you should make your porridge with this. She's been living off milk water. She, she's been having cow teeth her whole life. I mean, but I understand. I understand why people. But people are saying that ways. Cow's milk. That was a blue. Be fair, we eat cheese. So what yeah, we, we eat cheese. It's the same thing. Sorry. Yeah. It's like this. Like, I saw this girl on TikTok, and, like, and she was like, "I would never drink cow's milk. Like, I would never put milk in my like coffee." But, but, she was like, but I have cheese every day. Right. Yeah. I'll still mm. have mozzarella, which is buffalo milk. <laughs> Buffalo mozzarella. Goat's milk. Goat's milk. Yeah, isn't feta goat's milk? I think so, yeah. Yeah. I'm just eyeballing this, so. She's got it. Yeah, porridge yeah, isn't really you, the if, summer breakfast. If but... you want the best creamy porridge, do it in a pan. Super, super low heat. It's, it's, it's all about slow and steady with porridge. Right. See, I just do two minutes in the microwave. Yeah, which also works, but I'm saying if you've got time on your hands, we're in kind of, we've got to leave in 45 minutes, which is actually not that long. It's not that long if you're not going to wash your hair. Yeah. If you're going to put your hair up, it's totally fine. Yeah. Uh, uh, we had a blow dry. Oh, you know we had a blow dry. Oh, I suppose in the last video we had a blow dry. Yeah, mine's was, destroyed now. Same after that sweat. If that was a blue right, bird. Going oh, yes. Um, we've got some new. Um, I'm going to do an order from. Oh. <laughs> Excuse me. I'm going to do an order from. Um, Beauty Bay tonight. Are you? Yeah, because I'm just out of sh nice stuff. Out like, you know when you just want to get some new nice stuff? Well, ah, uh, okay, so. Because also. Does anyone remember it, in. You know how much this is? No. Guess how much this is? 30 quid. 35 quid. <laughs> I mean, we've been getting this for free. <laughs> it's very privileged in this household. So I was like, oh, we have one of those. So I was going to I buy use it. that every day. It though. is amazing. So worth it. Because I think it's because everything else is on sale, and I was like, oh my god, mega cheap. Ah. But it's so, product. yeah, the creamy, uh, the um, so do you remember in the Harry Styles video where I was like, I really want to try more of like a creamy makeup routine? Oh, yeah, like less powder and oh, more yeah. like cream. Yeah, I tried it, and it just looks shit. I, I, I find because with it, I found it just that like last. there was what it just wasn't like. I, you could still see all like acne scarring. Right. Well, because you didn't. Well, I put like concealer on. I tried to do like a light makeup. Yeah. So I put like concealer on, which is pretty Full heavy. Coverage. And then I just went in with like the bronzers and the blush. Yeah. But I thought, I just look a bit shit. Interesting. And I just thought, this is not how I. I think, yeah, I this think... is not how I envisioned it looking. Yeah. I think you've got to have really great skin. It never looks right for on that me. makeup to like you've got to have Hailey Bieber skin, skin, which is she's got her skin is a blank canvas. Yeah, it's all one color, it's all and it's one shade, and it's smooth. In it. Then yeah. I think it, but I just couldn't make it look I right. Think, Maybe I need to try again. I think on I holiday, I think on holiday, with a bit of a natural sun on nose and cheek, just doing a bit of cream and a bit of concealer, that but then I think even then I I just look shit. I said, I'm sure you didn't, but it is. I think because we're used to just powder. I mean, it's normal to just. I do think powder. you have to set powders. Right. You do something. You just do. Have to set cream with powder. Yeah. I mean, sorry, God. Yeah. Am I all right? You, you have want to, it to last. You have to set powder. I mean, you have to set cream just a little bit. Surely. I know. I mean, we're not makeup artists, but you have to set them. I just. I need to try it again. I think, but I didn't like it. Yeah. I literally took it off. I don't imagine I'd like it. It, I imagine it would just feel quite wet. But I suppose if you don't use too much. Well, I think that's the problem. I just looked a bit flat. Yeah. I Maybe it your contour right. weren't deep enough. Maybe. Yeah, possibly. You know all your stuff. I just found that I just didn't have enough coverage. Yeah. Maybe I needed to do it with like a foundation. So I just have Maybe, but then I could not put a foundation and not powder it. I know. That would feel so very abnormal. Mmm, porridge, porridge. Oh, thank you. It's very it's hot. Ah. 
Yeah. It's okay. hard to get the milk proportions right when you've not got this the sachets. This is good consistency. It's got quite glue. I like it milkier than that. So Do maybe you? let me actually. Oh, I don't mind. I like it to be like I find that I, I find that when my not liquidy. Oh, like, see, I dribbling. like it more on the liquidy side because it makes me more full. Because it that I eat right. it, I scoff it really quickly. I like it more of a milky, milky. Mm. This is just solid, very warming. This is very wintery. It's very wintry, but it's, it's just so putting good. hot stuff in your already hot body. I know, but it's good. Great mm. probably from a great porridge company. Where'd you buy that from Whole Foods this time, maybe? I don't know. It was, I got it at the start when we moved in. Mm. Maybe Whole Foods. Maybe Whole Foods, yes. We really want to watch Elvis. What's this letter? I don't know. Oh, oh I thought that said to Chintzia. Oh my God, I started panicking. I thought that said, I read that. Sabia, I read that saying Chintzia. So like, oh, am I okay? That's a Chinese name. Yeah, I didn't know. I left on the table. So this must be the owner of the property. Whoa. Oh, see, that's a bit better for me. Yeah. A little bit more of a mm. liquid. Oh, yeah, I see that. There we are, I see. Now we're going to eat our breakfast. We've not got that long, actually. Hello. So we are Fresh cleaned out. up. In our rubs, we we actually do this need road, to worry. Yeah, then. we've got you know we've got twenty. We're minutes. meant to leave it. Well, we're going to be leaving. We're going to be fifteen minutes behind schedule, aren't we? But it's that <laughs> hard. We really took all the time. It's fine. Sometimes it's a Monday. Like who? I don't like being frantic. We're ready. Very casual today. Shouldn't be wearing my trainers on we're the carpet. Are you going to bring sunglasses? Mm. I haven't got enough room in my bag to be honest. We're out. And we're out. Oh my god! The worst lighting to ever exist. Is that? Oh my god. Oh my god, that's actually terrible. <laughs> Gonna go at that. Oh. Ooh, Girl, hello. So we're off to do the potty. And then got a couple of meetings. I've got my iPad. Professional life. On route. On route. Um, Finalising some We're tennis. trying to think of a question of the week for a girl talk. And they always prove a bit trickier than the boys. They do. So if you've got any good girl talks, questions, question of the question week. of the week, oh my God, leave them down below because that'll be sick. Why can't you see us? It's this shit cat. You literally can't see us. Is it on auto? Yeah. There we go. So you let us know, okay? Thank you. What can we talk about? Girls' holidays done that. We we are thinking about talking about unfollowing friends on social media. Yeah, we have when touched to, do on you unfollow ex friends because I don't. I do. I'm still following ex friends. I unfollowed all ex friends. See, that's why we're different. Because she said to me the day she was like, "Oh, should I unfollow? This Am I girl? allowed to unfollow this girl?" It's like girl from friend from when we were sixteen. I was like, God, didn't even. <laughs> she was on my not even on my radar. So it is an interesting one. So we can talk about that. We recently got unfollowed by that boy. You we found out unfollowed. We us. did, but that was an acquaintance. So I unfollowed back. He was petty. He, he wasn't a friend. He was an acquaintance mm. of the Nottingham scene. Scene, you know. Yeah. Um, but it was an interesting one. Uh, I don't know why he would unfollow. I think he's got a new girlfriend. But we were never. It was never like that, but it looked. I can see to a girlfriend, I'd be like, why are you why following, following them? Yeah, fair enough, fair enough. But then he'd just be like, I know them. Yeah. But weird. Weird. Would you would you ask your boyfriend to follow someone? No. But no, me neither. Because I think that if you if no. you happen to ask. Yes, I think it should be them just like it should be a respect thing without yeah. even having to yeah ask. ask. Question of the week. Would you ever ask your boyfriend to unfollow, unfollow someone? someone? Brilliant. Because I could talk about that. Because I feel like you. Because yeah. you're within your rights. Really? Absolutely. To but be I, like, right. Yeah. Just like, why are you following so and so? But then it's like, why why, why are they? Yeah. Then but it's like, is it that deep? Yeah. But maybe it's but maybe not. It's not. Because I wasn't following all sorts of people. Right. I was following people, it's not deep. Right. Just know them, friend of a friend. Right. Somehow I've ended up. But then if you. you're asking your, drunk one night. if you're asking your boyfriend to unfollow someone, obviously someone that you feel a type of way feel about. Feel a type of way about. So 
So maybe it's a, a fling, a past fling. Potential competition, you're thinking? Potential rivalry. I don't know. We're politics. But we're going to ask that. That's going to be questions this of the week. This is the podcast tune in. Poddy is done. Woo! Sorry, we didn't vlog at all in there. We were very Gosh. in and out. Oh we were my trying God. to be quick. I just wet my, I just wet my oh. iPad, my business, my business pad. <laughs> now we've got to go for a meeting. But we're back at the podcast tomorrow. Um, Sorry podcast we didn't tomorrow. film in there. That was silly of us. We but totally forgot. Let's go, go, go. go. Big, big Fitzroy meet. Square. Big, big meeting ahead of us. Oh, I'm glad you got them. <laughs> this is a follow on from our disaster meeting that we well, had the about the samples. We were composed. We're composed. We're composed. Oh. oh, business hats are on. Business trainers are on. <laughs> well, the last time we were in this room it was a sad story, wasn't it? Is that them? Yeah. Hello. Hello. Oh, I've got a headache. I tell you that for free. Bit deflated again, to be honest. I just got a headache. It's just oh, there's so much that just so oh, many layers oh, to life. Oh, we're we're realizing, gonna get some lunch. We're realizing that life is tricky, really hard. And when you get to an adult, it's not so fun. It, well, it do you is. know what the problem is? It's when you don't know who to ask for advice. It's when you don't know who to You've trust. Got, it, it, it's it's <laughs> like. You need someone to tell you what to do and you've not got anyone to tell you what to do. That's, that's the problem, I think. Because you don't, yeah, that's it. It's, it's, it's when you're, it's, it's like navigating a relationship. Right, and you don't know what to do. Yeah. Are they the right person or not? Yeah, it's really tricky. Anyway, um, we're going to have some lunch. Then we need to go to Boots because yes. we're filming a video tomorrow we need some stuff for it. I need some Sanax, I need some toothpaste. Yeah. I need some body cream. Yeah. Um, and, uh, yeah. And what else? smile <laughs> that's the plan hi guys Hello, look we're back my home Chintzia's waved her hair for some stories really cute video we're just Do popping up the waiver? all that you saw last week it, it detaches and then you can put other heads on it I don't want to touch it because it's hot but how amazing yeah that, oh, I thought you oh, dropped it's it on yourself the base. it's hot at the base uh, but how amazing I'm going to take this on holiday We've got a call in five minutes. Oh, it's, also, it's 25 past five, so we just want to remember in the last that. vlog when we went to Boots and we got the Kylie lip gloss? Oh, yeah. Gorgeous. What shade is that? Uh, have you been using yours? Yeah, I have. This is shade yeah. oh, 319 High Gloss Diva. Look. Diva. Really nice. It's like the perfect nude gloss and it's not sticky. You know, look. Mm. Lovely. So we've got a call now. Top on that last one of the day. Actually, no, it's not. Gorge. Not the last one of the day. No. No. Oh. We've got thingy, you know. Who? Oh God! <laughs> God, not the last call. The most exciting one of them all. <gasps> Let's look back on our pictures and look at my lips. Ginormous. They were like big balloons, two big sausages, sausages on my face. I didn't realise how big they were. No. They don't look. They don't look that big. They were big. Yeah, they were. They were big. Little cute little. Uh... They are filled still. These aren't no naturals, but they're not <laughs> as filled. Right. We are gonna hop on. Nicole. Nicole. Hi. Hello. Got my dressing gear on. We're it's gonna watch something. Quarter to seven. Do you want Save dinner? day for us. I'm not hungry. I know, but I feel like I want to eat. But we like. Have our salad. Yeah. What were our salad? It's my favourite. Yeah. We could make fancy. Yeah, I'd have rice salad always. I always crave that. I go back to Sorrento, I can have rice salad proper from Italy. <laughs> where it came so from. Jealous. But we're not going back to that hotel, so I might not be able oh, to actually get why? it. Just going to a different one. Switching it up. Yeah, Romano's, but Romano booked. Um, Cheers, Ron. But yeah, I can go back to the origin of the rice salad. It is the best. It, it, it true. So you get rice, you get tuna. I'm you get it, you know. olives, olives, so fresh. Do, so right, what good. ingredients do we have? Tuna. No. Oh we've, yeah, we've got one thing. I found it. Right. Do we have chickpeas? We've got, chick chick peas, yeah. got chickpeas. Do we have rice? No. no. So we need rice. We need lettuce. Olives. Olives. We've got chickpeas. No mozzarella. Tomatoes, olives. mozzarella, but we need quite a lot. <laughs> I'm watching. You're gonna watch Love Island later. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm so down. basically, uh, the Love Island this year is one of those it's things. Fantastic. Yeah, it's one of those things when I started, I was like, I'm not watching Love Island this year. I don't, I'm a busy girl, I, I don't have the time for it. But then it 
caught my eye and now I'm absolutely, I'm, I'm hooked. I've never been this hooked. Truly. Yeah. I've, I know, I've, you I've, don't really get hooked on TV, do you? I've honestly never, like, apart from when I first started Australia, mm. I've, about around the show. problem is, we don't have the TV satellite on this TV. Yeah, I don't but either. It's going to be the ITV but player, But we have ITV it? player live. Live, of course. So we're gonna have to tune into that. So well, that's why let's I did. watch it. You can you can film me. That's what I did last night. That's fine. Yeah, I'll just feel fearing because it's Castro more. It's very easy to keep up with. Yeah. Because like I'll just show you who's in a couple. Right. It's pretty light and television. Who's, who's cheating on their people? Yeah. I want them married at first sight. I'm oh, ready for it. Oh, incredible! It's completely incredible. Yeah. If, if anyone for whom it concerns, um, married at first sight Australia lovers, Domenica Messi Sophia. Yes. So she wants to meet up. She lives in London. London. So we're going to hang out with Domenica. If she, if she keeps up on our offer, though. She asked me some, some recommendations. She did, did she? Did she? Back. Yeah. Fuck, yeah, really she's really messaging say. Sophia. Yeah. Isn't that hate. crazy, Domenica? That's great. We're such fans. So for whom it concerns, get excited. It's going to be a big uh, merge mm. of worlds. Mm. What recommendations can I give her? I don't really know what to say. Say she must go... Like where should she have... To Harry's for some Italian? Yeah, yeah, because she's Italian. Say, you know, she must go to... Oh God, I don't know. My mind, when I saw a couple of us, my mind's going to Like, does black. she want to do that, like, the, like London Eye? Like, where no, would... surely not. Well, she needs to see the sites. Like, she... what are London sites people need to see? Like, go to some galleries? It's such gallery. I thought she meant like restaurants and clubs. Oh, I thought, what I want to do for my birthday, get a limo. And then I'm going to get a limo. <laughs> I'm going to get a big pink it's limo. First. Yeah, I know, but right, well, we can get a limo for yours. But I want to get a limo. And then it's going to take us all to the club. And we're just like thinking how much that will cost. We don't. We can't gauge limo prizes. Should I actually Google it? Yeah, so how much is it know. for a limo? I mean, it's going to be more in London than it cost us to drive around not, wouldn't it? I'll put pink, li pink limo hire London. Yeah, because basically, was it for my 13th birthday? I yeah. hired, well, mum, hired a limo. And it picked us all up from school. That was great. That was. And I remember that being £100. What, in total? Yeah. That was like wow. a dream. It was £100. So I think it just drove us home from school. Fox limos. I think you just drove us around town and home from school. We're yeah. And stuff. Oh, look at that. Guys. Look at that. Oh my god, this fucking camera. Oh, you get it. You get the gist. Oh my god. How much are they? I know, I'm just going to see. So, this is Fox Limousines Limo Hire. 90 good reviews. Okay, that's 90 people who trust it. Website, Fox Limo Hire. How far can it take? Oh, you've got spend? to inquire and submit. Let me um, go somewhere else. I want the bright... Oh my god, you can hire a fire engine. Shit. Party bus, full big party. We want the pink Hummer limousine. There we go. Number of passengers. Oh god, I don't know. Three, <laughs> two. Two, <laughs> three max, four, it's my sisters. Gosh. 15? 25? What? what? I'll, put, not 25 I'll, put, friends. I'll put six max and that's being optimistic. Calls done. We it's are face. making our rice salad. Look at this, me as chef. Look at this. So mm -hmm. like I said, we've got rice, tuna, mozzarella, tomato. I mean, the traditional I'm recipe the olives. didn't have lettuce in. It's just but rice. But it really bulks it out. But it, it makes it a bit, it just bigger. Just mm. makes it bigger. Because before I used to do two packs of rice. It, we used to have so much. Mm. Remember how much leftover we'd have? Mm. Uh, and tuna and then olives. But like, you can add whatever you want. Um, whatever, vegetables. You could have feta. You could do this with quinoa and feta. Mm -hmm. Do you know what Taylor R makes? She makes at the beginning of the week a big... This is a shit pepper grinder. She makes a big um, batch of quinoa. This quinoa salad, which looks delicious. Quinoa, feta, cucumbers. Mm. To, and she has it like for lunch, puts different proteins on it. It's just like something wow. she can snack on. Has it for dinners. Wow. Wow. Yeah. She eats the yummiest foods. We need to go to Hong Kong, Hong Kong one day. Love Island in 30 minutes as well. Yeah. Has anyone ever been to Hong Kong? 
I'd love to go to Hong Kong. I would. It looks incredible. Tokyo as well. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I would literally love to. But I don't think we can go yet. I think there's still quarantine rules. Oh. Yeah, I think when you get there, you can go, but you've got to quarantine two weeks at so your expense yeah. in a hotel. Well, working days come to an end. Well, we'll watch Love Island, though. We're, we're going to watch you know Love Island. Thoughts. We're not going to let you go just yet. Uh, Should we give this a taste test? Just check that the yeah, level's go on, right. Then. That's been stuck in oil. That mm. looks good. I'm hearing draw crap. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> it actually just like makes a difference. Like, yeah. You need a little boil bowl and salt in it. Mm. And what's the thing always tells me off for it? Well, it's not a salad. You're putting <laughs> loads that we like, Shut up. Fuck off. Fuck off. Telling us what we can and can't do. Telling me what I can and cannot do. <laughs> A bit more salt. <laughs> this is, you know, obviously you've been seeing on Devin's story this salt she's been raving about. No, we have it. It's not salt. Oh my god, Malden salt. She's Was that been... a Whole Foods find? I think so. Mm. She's been creating a phenomenon about this salt, posting it. People are like, I've got this salt because of Devin. I'm like, oh, sure we've... that's the salt we've had for months. <laughs> We're watching Trixie. That's Jill. But Just thought I'd update you. We finished dinner. Well, I left some scrabbles. But we're watching Trixie and we're gonna watch Love Island. That was intense. No, Love Island is stressing me out. It's actually making me like. I panic. think I'm pretty well caught up. Yeah, it's fine. Like, as long as you know who's with who. Yeah. And who's snogging someone they shouldn't be snogging. Yeah, it's pretty self explanatory. Oh no, I'm really stressed, you see. So now all the girls are getting all sex, all their Turn boys are. Down. All the, boys. the girls are being super respectful. Yes, because the girls. The girls, when they went into Castro Mall, the boys they were with, well, like the most of the boys, gave them like a their hoodie and a ring, That's you really know. Cute. And now all the boys are like snogging, snogging the new all girls. The girls, and like they're being like, "Oh, I do feel guilty. Oh, I do feel a little no, bit guilty." No, you don't. It's a bit. It's really just ah oh. disappointing. I'm really disappointed in the boys. The girls are being so good as of as of now. Mm. I think Tasha's gonna snog someone. As of Monday night, you are seeing this on Friday. Yeah. So things could have changed. Oh yeah, but of course. But I'm it's a just, daily update, isn't oh, it? Oh, it actually stresses me out. Look, well. Married at first sight wouldn't stress me out. That's why I couldn't finish the ultimatum mm. because it was real couples and who were cheating on each other That's and having sex nice. with other people. That's not nice. No. And it just wasn't a nice, comfortable watch. No, it's not nice. You know, like. But we're going to end this video here, guys. This has been a true day in the life. A true day from start to finish. From start to finish. I'm tired. We go again tomorrow. What time is it? We've got a busy couple of days. <laughs> it's busy. And the then day. actually at the end of this week, we're going to record our book. Like yes. verb, like do the, the audio, audio book. book. So that's so going to be really We're going to be fun. talking. I know we are. Wednesday and Thursday all day from 9am to 5pm. And then we're going to do it when you're back from holiday as well. As well? Yeah. We're not going to have finished it. No, we're not. It's only two days. So we're talking all day, enunciating. Can't stumble my words. This is an audio book. Yeah, but we also can because it's just sounding oh, like a podcast. We can abbreviate true. and make it more chatty. Yeah. That's the point. So we're going to be in the recording booth all day. Recording our so book. Don't forget to pre-order our book if you haven't already. It comes out. Or you can pre-order the audio. Yeah, you can pre-order the audio. Yeah. Straight on the phone. Um, but thank you for watching. We so hope tomorrow. you enjoyed this video. Let us know if you like the day vlogs. Yeah, or you prefer a, a week. A week. Let us know. When I'm watching vlogs, I do like to see a day start to finish. I like to, to see a day. I like to see a day. Because when it is a bit eclectic. I get a bit lost. Yeah, but I do like to, like when I watch Remy's. Mm. I'm more interested in people's day. Kim does a full day and it's yeah, good. Yeah, yeah. Well let, well, let us know if you like it. Kim has this incredible wide lens. I know you told me. I told But it me, looks I amazing. I well, I think we should get it. And we're on the But okay. it's a heavy camera, camera with like a lens attachment. But it looks good. We're not going to carry We're going to invest around. in our quality control. We should get Kim's camera, but we'll see you next Friday. We've got weak arms. Thanks for watching, guys. Love you lots. Love you. See looks you. like I've got short hair again. See you next week. Yeah, it's really cute. See you next week. Bye.